Another Brick Fan here with a look at another Harry Potter 2019 set. This is the Hungarian Horntail Triwizard Challenge. This is set number 75946. It was released in July of 2019. It has 265 pieces, 4 minifigures, and cost about $30 when it was released. We're going to take a look at each of the minifigures in detail, but let's start with the main builds first. Let's start with the Hungarian Horntail itself. This is a really nice build, and you can see if you look at the head here, the nice detailed printing that is on the head. So it's actually done very nicely in some black, white, and a little bit of green there for the eye. So I think it looks really good. As you rotate around the head, you see that it's got all these horn tail, these horns on the pieces, hence the name Hungarian Horntail. My problem with these is they're really easy to kind of drop off. They don't connect super solid to this head piece. So these, these are not on there as, as solidly as I would like. Some other things I do like though is this new wing piece that you can see here that has the kind of faded printing. So it goes from a clear and then fades into this dark brown, which uh, looks really nice. And even on the tip here, you can see that it's clear. Uh, there are a couple stickers here. So here's a sticker on his back. I think the articulating tail looks pretty good. Um, it does move around a lot. This is a pretty standard technique. The Basilisk from last year's uh, set actually has the same kind of building technique. The wings are on very solid. They do move up and down to give you some simulation of flight. So that's really nice. The head is on two articulating pins for a neck and a head. So you got that. There's this uh, piece here that clips in. That has the fire piece. So it shows the dragon breathing fire, but it does not allow the mouth to close. Obviously, even if you move this fire piece out of the way. And you can see that she is chained to this stand here with the golden egg that is the objective of the challenge itself. And then there's some fire surrounding that with these newer flame pieces here. The other part of the build is this little tent that was used as kind of a staging area for the competitors. Um, obviously quite small build, uh, just a little bit of uh, rock and uh, plant detailing on the outside, but it does open up uh, to give a little bit of play. And I think this is pretty accurate to the movie since there was a, a small bed that they could uh, relax on before going out. There's a, a chest here with some drawers and then some goblets here. There's also some very nice stickers inside. So you'll see there they have the Bobaton and the Durmstrang crest there. And then on the other side, here is the Hogwarts crest, since there are is supposedly one competitor from each. Although as you, from the movie, you remember that uh, Harry was a second entrant from Hogwarts. So hence the four different competitors. So even though it's small, it does have some nice little details in it and it does fit in quite well with the scene. One last thing I'd like to point out is this, the broom here, presumably the Nimbus 2000 for Harry, has this uh, newer kind of stirrup piece here so that you can put your figure on the broom a little bit better. So we clip his hand here and then you can move him up and put his foot there to give him a little more stability on the broom. So that makes it a pretty nice feature. Let's take a look at the minifigures now. As I mentioned in the beginning, this set comes with four minifigures. They include Cedric Diggory, Victor Crumb, Fleur Delacour, and of course, Harry Potter. And if you see here, I'm starting with Harry Potter, who is on your left, and Cedric Diggory, who is on the right. It's a very typical Harry Potter. You can see his scar there over his right eye. The print here is a nice dark color, which is appropriate for the Triwizard Tournament. He wore uh, black and red during the tournament. Looks good with the Gryffindor house crest on his chest. Cedric Diggory is a nice representation also. I think they did, uh, again, it's in black with the yellow. And he has the Hufflepuff crest there. 
I like the hair piece they chose for him in that nice uh, brown color. The printing is good with white and yellow. I think it looks very nice. As we move around the figures, you see that they both have very good back prints that include their names and then look, it looks like they're sort of hoodies that they're wearing. So you have Cedric Diggory that's kind of covered up by the hoodie that's leaned back too far and then Harry's name there on the back. So nicely represented. Each of these figures has an alternate expression. A more serious face for Harry Potter and Cedric has a more concerned face so you can see what those would look like with the hair in place. Each is using the new wand piece so it can be held either uh, vertically at, in the middle at the bottom there or by the little ball end which allows you to position the wand better. Let's take a look at the next two minifigures. So this is Fleur de la Cour on the left and Victor Crumb on the right. So these make up the four contestants for the Tri-Wizard Tournament. I think they did a pretty good job of getting that nice blue print and gold print on the light colored torso for Fleur. She has a, a good hair piece in that bright yellow or light yellow color. I like how they use the dark blue arms that, that match the legs. No printing on the legs here as, as opposed to what we saw on Cedric Diggory. The print for Victor Crumb is good. Again, a, a nice representation of the Durmstrang uniform that he's wearing with a brown jacket, it looks like. And then he has a, a nice expression there and a hair piece that I've seen quite often, but I think it works pretty good for this character. Moving around to the back, you see, once again, Victor's wearing more of a robes or a hoodie type top here. At, uh, the hood is down back over the back instead of over his head. And then Fleur has the B for the Beaubaton logo there on the back of her uniform. They each have alternate faces. Where Fleur is looking a little bit more scared. And Victor is looking more serious or stern, which, as I recall from the movie, that's pretty much how he looked every time. But with that is all four minifigures that come with a set. Let's move back and I'll give you my closing thoughts. Overall, a good representation of the uh, Hungarian Horntail Challenge, or essentially the Dragon Challenge of the Tri-Wizard Tournament. It's got the four competitors, Harry, Fleur, Cedric, and Victor. It has the four competitors, Harry, Fleur, Cedric, and Victor, which are all very nice figures as we just saw, does compare pretty well to the original Horntail Lego set. Uh, with the differences, this, this has the tent instead of the, and in the original one that was done, had a uh, grandstand, which allowed for people to stand in, and I believe it came with a, a few more minifigures. The value for the money is just over the 10 cent, close to 11 cent per piece. Um, I, if you get these on sale, like 20% off, I think that fits in pretty well. So I think about $25 is a, is a really good price for this. So I'm sure you can find these on sale, but it's a really good set and you do pay a little bit of a premium for these licensed uh, sets. So overall, really nice set. I'm a big Harry Potter fan, so it's a no brainer for me to collect these sets as they come out. Hope you enjoyed my thoughts on this set and I'm gonna get started on another video. Until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to see more of my content, like the videos I have linked here on the screen.